Welcome to Marlowe House Presents. I'm Monica Marlowe. Now I'm Andrew Marlowe. I don't know who I am anymore. Apparently, I don't know what's going on either. I was supposed to start. I'm looking at the clock. So, hey, it's nine o'clock. So that means we're alive. And on time. And on time. I hope any. I hope somebody's here. I doubt it. Um, um, I have a feeling we beat everybody online. I hope all the technology is working tonight. Yeah, it's just us right now. How embarrassing. Eh. People have gotten used to us being late. I, I know. That's what I was saying. I was like, we're going to beat everybody there because they're all going to be waiting until like 9.30. Like, ah, uh, oh, they're going to say that they're going to be on at 9. Yeah, but they're on Scott time. They're on <laughs> Marlowe House time. We're on McKendry time. What are you talking about? All right. So, apparently, we had homework this evening, but I didn't find out about it until just now. Yeah, you had homework. I talked to you about it days ago. You did not. Okay, it's my fault. It's always your fault. And I'm glad that you've come to recognize and accept that. Yeah. It's important stuff. It is important stuff. Well, when did you find out, Scott? Last night. Last night. See, that's when I found out. But you know what I also... But that wasn't just a few minutes ago. Yeah, but you know what I was doing up until just a few minutes ago and that I did right before I got home and found out last night? Working. Thinking about important things that are not... And then you were Assassin's Creed, creating things. I needed to kill some some Spartans and Athenians. They knew what they did. If it makes you feel better, I, I was working, and then I went home and worked more until like 2 in the morning. Yeah, but your job is fun. I mean... You get to create your job. I made a, I made a trivia game. See? I don't get to do that. <laughs> anyway, so what's my homework? Just three things, but all right. So we're, explain it to the audience. I'm going to. Okay. So we're gonna kind of do. Um, so we've been we all need to get back to actual gaming and not just getting online and talking, which is fine. But I, I would really like to get back to playing on uh, Fridays and maybe squeezing the game in on Saturday or whatever else. But we need ideas for games. So we're gonna steal an idea from. Uh, fate. Okay. And we are going to basically do sort of like our own little game creation. So what I had asked everybody to do is just kind of think of like three things that you want to incorporate into a game. And then when we get around to doing this tonight in depth, because we'll do that in a few minutes. So you'll have time to do your homework before class starts. Um, just like I always do. And then uh, we'll see what the audience has, and we'll, we'll get the audience to, to chip in, too. But we'll have to probably recover all of what it is that we're going to be doing, just so that we make sure that our audience is aware of what we're okay. doing. Well, so before our audience gets here, the curtain behind you needs to be fixed. Where? Right behind you. Oh. Well, when it's not on camera. I couldn't see it. Well, I can see it because I'm looking in this direction. I was on your own paper, Monica. <laughs> How do you think I got through school? Wait, you weren't the one everybody else was copying off of? With a series of strategically placed twenties on the teacher's desk, like yeah. everyone else. <laughs> no, I was, I was really. I Pencils was, ain't cheap. No, they're not. No. I couldn't afford that. No, I was, I was one of, I was the student who studied a lot. I, I am embarrassed to say that I was. She was the one who threw off the curve. Sometimes, yes. Oh, you were that kid. I wasn't I wasn't the only that kid. Definitely toward but I was definitely one of those kids. I mean I wasn't I didn't graduate like, you know, in the top ten of my class, but you know, we went we were on a scale of one to ten. And I was like at a nine or an eight. All those A P classes I, thrown I off was the curve. That, I was that kid in English. Uh, but I more than made up for it in math. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly so the, balanced. So what you're saying is you were a fifty percent. So you say, you're saying you were a fifty percent student overall. Uh, so, uh, you know, funny enough, the the one exception to that was geometry. Huh. Like, so I had to do a full year of algebra, and I just didn't get it at all. It was awful. I barely passed. Um, and then we went to geometry. And because everything was centered around shapes, and I'm very visual. My, my thinking is very, very visual. I found no issues with that. I I was like, I went from 
almost dead last in everything to being like the the curve setter. I was not very good in grammar, uh, but like reading and interpretive uh, interpret interpreting literature and stuff like that, I'm really good at. I still don't know where to put commas. I just put a bunch of commas, and someone else takes them out. Well, the worst part was I was I got so comfortable with it. Then I was like, oh, I get it now. This So this is what algebra was supposed to be. Okay, I get it. And then, you know, you take the summer off, you do all the stupid kid stuff. You go back and going into algebra two at that point. Mm -hmm. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah. This is, math is dumb. I don't like this. So I'm going to put math down as something I want to incorporate. Oh. <laughs> mean. I am. So. I am a mean girl. Yes. That's fine. If that's but I'm remember whatever it is, we, we're we're gonna have to live with our with live with our consequences. We have to, li we have to live with our wait, choices. Wait. Like I real can, world, this is not a game. I can take I can take skills in math and and use dice to do that. This is fine. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I I don't know. I thought this was gonna be a game, but we have to live with our own consequences. That really doesn't feel right. But you said this is gonna be fun. I want to live with my own consequences. Go to work tomorrow. <laughs> I was going to say, you're going to do what tomorrow? Well, you know. So, el th three elements I'd like to see in a game. What kind of things have you got written down over there? You'll have to wait and see. And they're not, we, and we're not, we're not stuck to any of these things. It's just, you know, three places to kind of leapfrog from and see right. what we get. I'm taking, I'm taking an idea out of the book of Gracie. I, I do, but I'm not certain I know what that is. Oh, I think I know what that is. So today, so today, um, a year ago, a year ago, um, my oldest friend ended up in the hospital. And we, Monica and I, uh, drove all the way out to Indianapolis and were nearly denied access to go see him. And it was it was a pretty serious occasion. It, they, it wasn't just a hospital trip. It was it was significantly he serious. Had a major brain bleed and almost died. Yeah. So it was like yeah. And he and I have been friends okay. since we were like ten. So I mean you know long long term friends. Yeah. And so a year ago today we drove out there, and I kind of remember this from Facebook. Yeah. But yeah, please go ahead. We we drove out there and and we went to go see him. Well. By completely uh, different set of circum, you know, happenstance and things, um, he was in town today, and so a year later, after we we thought he was going to be gone, we were playing Pathfinder here in the basement. Uh, me, him, and his kids. I ran, and he stayed at the table. He ran again. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I haven't left the table all day. No, I, I did. I left the table because I had to cook dinner and do a few other things. But, uh, so yeah, we, we did that. And, and Gracie was, uh, really wanted to fight a dragon. So I'm imagining that's probably what Monica's written down as she's so going through. the not so many fig at her. No, actually, I didn't. I used the uh, the one from the Pathfinder uh, cover, that so that's the small. <laughs> <laughs> she's a small child. That would be bad. Yeah, and it 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 was a better choice because they were playing first level Pathfinder characters, and I was fudging stat blocks. I was just making stuff up off the fly and and going you know, with it. Down a gargantuan red dragon as a first level. No, no, I, I don't even know I could make that stat block make sense at first level. I mean, that stat block, it, that dragon is bad news. <laughs> bad news bears. So are these things supposed to be things I'm thinking about for my character, things I'm thinking about yes. for my setting? Yes. Anything. Because we will talk about characters, we will talk about setting, we'll talk about the troubles of the setting... Hmm. 
And is this going to be for like the long running campaign? Or no, this will be this will be just sort of a filler game. Oh, okay. So that if we come up with something completely screwball and we get a lot of help making it completely screwball, we don't have to live with it for more than a game or two. Well, and since there's nobody watching it right now, it looks like it's just going to be us. I know. I'm which really is, sad. Which is really not good. I mean, we could wait until the other people show up. Oh, just... King of Rock is on. Oh. Uh, uh, huzzah. I hope he's here to save us from ourselves. Crazy talk. Hi, Crazy King talk. of Rock. I was hoping Michael would be here, but I guess he was busy with working. Well, you know. Real life, all that. Mm, so, so for those of you playing at home, all one of you, um, we are looking for three elements of. He's, he's eating and his hands are full. Oh, Wait, I understand. How are you typing? Okay, so food it is. Hello. All right, so we're gonna go with food from King of Rock. What are you eating? Anything good? Ah, uh, we'll just make something up. <laughs> all right all yep. right sorry all right so work on your homework i am this is how i think this is why i'm so annoying at work because i have to talk out loud to myself the whole time no i don't do that only here just for you king of rock says he's having a meatball sub <gasps> meatball sub we well, could do submarines as like as life would have it i already have sailing vessels on one of my cards so submarines so i am so ahead of the curve see i I make the curve even here. So while we're also talking about things, um, we did get to play some board games this past weekend. Mm -hmm. Monica is uh, currently the what reigning and undisputed reigning champion undis of the Marlowe House uh, unstable, uh, unstable, unstable unicorns. unicorns. We played it twice, and I won it twice. Now I have officially won two board games at my house in the entire. And I think you run. I think you run three because didn't you win uh, Splendor? Splendor after we finished up? No, that was me. No, oh, Scott you won. won. You won Splendor. Scott okay. Won Splendor. My I, bad. I do occasionally win games, but I I was very close. But Scott got to the last, the winning card before I am because yep. he went before me. Because he's a jerk. And he sat to my right. So Ta -da. it's like... Ta-da! Ta Alright, one more thing. Oh, I did make I did make my sister's... Dinner. And we don't have to use all of them, either. That's you know. Well, so I can just make up something BS and we can throw it away? That doesn't make sense. What did you do with... What did? Uh, so, so tomorrow is Mom's birthday. And so before I... When I went to deliver the, the game I, I made for work, uh, on my way out, I was like, oh, I should probably stop and get some cards. So I got some cards for Mom. And then on the way back, I was passing GameStop, and I saw that they were doing the pre-order for Kingdom Hearts 3, <gasps> which I know that my sister really, really wanted. Uh, but her birthday is not until April. So I went, as as I should, I went ahead and bought it. And I'm normally against doing the pre-order thing, because... You, you, you know this is broadcast, right? And she can see it. Yeah, she knows. Okay, good. <laughs> but we were gonna, secrets. I was going to say, <laughs> we, we were going to get to that part here any second. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, when I, when I got home, I told her, I was like, Hey, do you want your present now or later? Since her birthday's in April, she was going to get it before her birthday anyway. Uh -huh. And she's like, what'd you get me? <laughs> <laughs> no she patience. No patience. No, no. She's as bad as I am. You're, you're terrible at keeping secrets and she is we're, we're desperately wanting to get them. So we it's, a, it's, a, it's a good... We're terrible at keeping secrets, yeah. especially when it's, it's I got you something. Right. Um, and normally I'm really, really against pre-ordering games because I know that's that's bad for the, the way it affects the gaming industry. But knowing how badly she wanted this and how long we have both been looking forward to this game, I was, it's worth it. So how does it negatively impact the gaming industry? You I know, didn't realize that. There are a lot of games that that do pre-orders and then they release essentially half a game uh because so there's tons of dlc and so that that they can make more money that mm -hmm. way that makes sense yep yeah i do get a little tired i actually ended up buying dlc today and it makes me kind of mad because i was like really i, I mean like i'd almost just rather pay a little bit more 
and get it all at the same time than to have to wait for it to be released right. after. And, and like games like Fable, where it was you had you had this great game and there were a couple of DLCs for it. Mm-hmm. That's fine, but when when you get a game released and you have to buy DLC after DLC after DLC. Usually the games I play have only released up to three. Um, Typically three is where I see it. I feel it. like EA has been the, the one that's the worst for it. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't, can't say that I play anything from them because I don't have the appropriate platforms. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I just don't like their games. I don't know. I couldn't even name one for you if I had to. Nah. I am such the worst nerd ever. Besides, Leslie's usually too busy helping with Grandma to watch. It's Lynette. Lynette's the one that talks. <laughs> That's true. Lynette, Lynette is the one who watches and talks. Hi, Lynette. Is she on? I don't know. Oh. Well, she'll probably watch it. I just assume because she, she tends to watch. Well, if she does, she is not here yet. Hmm. I'm, I'm going First, to... I'm not seeing anybody, to... so... I am going to access the internet to see if there's anything. I can see I can see King of Rock making comments on there, but I can't actually see who's watching. He's been video game free since 2007. How? Oh my gosh, how do you live without things like Fable and Assassin's Creed and Disney? Sky well, Fable's and... been gone since like 2007, so really been that long? it feels oh, like it. Man. No, Fable's been gone since. 2014, 2015. Was it really just that long? Just a, well, they were, well, I guess that was four year, five years ago now. Almost. Lionhead was working on a, a new fable. It was going to be a, a multiplayer online thing. Yeah. And it looked amazing. It I looked hate, amazing. I hate, I hate those hate. games. And it looked amazing. Well, Fallout 76 looks amazing, but it is a... Uh, MMO. MMO, and... I've heard from a number of people about the amount of griefing that's going on, even though you can turn on a pacifist mode and people are still like stalking you because it makes you go Ugh! and you bleed and it makes you kind of like stutter and stop. And you still have to pay to have an internet, a live feed to play it. Yeah, sorry. I'm, not, I'm not paying extra to pay it to play a hundred dollar game. That somebody that somebody's going to, someone's going to screw with me. Yeah. No, All right. You. I have three items for better or for worse. All right. There's something seriously wrong with Scott's camera tonight. <laughs> well, oh, it is looking at Scott. <laughs> no, it's just frozen. Oh, is it? Uh-huh. I'm making the best face ever, too. You are, actually. It looks really <laughs> good on, on there. Huh. That's unfortunate. We'll miss you, Scott. Oh! <laughs> Andrew made it big. Yes, That's nice mean that wasn't what i meant to do <laughs> <laughs> that's what he tells everybody i'm gonna remove it and see what happens if i redo it did i send you that, te that technical difficulties image mm, you might have but i don't have it oh, okay no well, it looks like he's still frozen uh, currently he's gone oh he's gone there King of Rock says hit it with a hammer. Not sure we that is have. That's an awfully expensive thing to hit with a hammer. Yeah. Especially since we just could, bought one of them. Could be a squeaky hammer. Squeaky. That's it. I'm changing up my third item for uh oh what was that? The little guy the little guy who jumped on the cubes. Cubert. Cubert. Yeah, like just there in the name. Yeah, move. <laughs> oh, now he's moving. Yay. And he's and frozen he's again. frozen again. But not permanently frozen like the last time. I don't know why it's hanging up. Is that the new camera? That is the brand new camera. I guess that thing will be going back too. It's like stuttering. Now I have two cameras. Well, that stinks because I don't want to have to go back and return that camera. 
I don't want to have to return it either, but now that one's like way too high. What? We're here. You're, you're cutting your head off. Take the box out. Or maybe it wasn't high enough. That can't probably not, be. Probably not high enough because it was. But it's. It's piggybacking. Yeah. Is it oh, because it's closer. Yeah. That's why. My error. Yeah. All right. Well, you make everybody nauseous. I'm gonna switch us to. Okay. Just me and Monica. Because wow. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to fill the space with the sound of my lovely voice as I watch I Scott see you. sit until... Okay. How about that? I don't have to go back. I made some really awful faces, too. That's better. Much better. Nobody breathe. You'll knock my camera over. <laughs> yeah, that's not, that's not even remotely <laughs> a lie. <laughs> ah. Oh, Sorry. I can't your microphone. You oh did. Oh my god, what are you doing? Stop oh, knocking on everything. Oh, uh, he's the got table. all these new toys here. There's like a gigantic mic stand over here, which is cool. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> that's not even a new toy. That one's one we just don't we just that's rarely bring out. That's my boomstick stand. Oh, is yep. that it? That's yeah, that, the boomstick. That's the boom stand stick. Nice. However you want to say that. From her boom this stand. This is my boom stand. One of the most ridiculous videos ever made. I keep hoping Bruce Campbell's going to find it one day and tell me how wonderful I am, but I doubt that's ever going to happen. I am pretty certain that is never going to happen. Well, way, way to ruin it for me, honey. Thanks. It has nothing to do with you. It's to do with, I don't know that Bruce Campbell is ever going to catch our video. That's well, what I'm not saying. Not with that attitude, he's not. <laughs> Hashtag Bruce Campbell. Hashtag Bruce Campbell. <laughs> All right, are we ready? We can be. Okay, good. Because I'm pretty sure it's long after 9 o'clock now. It is. It's about 9.23. Well, thanks for joining us, everyone. I'll see how that affects you in like six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, it's okay. I'm about ready to... Oh, it got... It, well, it changed the lighting. Yep, that's definitely just your... <laughs> <laughs> This is why I'm here. Technical support. Really? <laughs> oh, I'm Goldilocks. Thank you, King of Rock, he says, as a former TV cameraman person. You're all like uh, Goldilocks of camera, frame, camera framing. Andrew is too much headroom. Scott has not enough. And Monica is just right. It's because I'm practically perfect in every way. I think someone else trademarked that, though. Anyway, so. Yeah. Scott still game. doesn't have. Scott still. I know, but the problem is, is but, it for an order for no, him to... Start do. talking. I'm going to fix it. No, you're not. Watch me. Here, I'm going <laughs> to fix it right now. Oh, you could do that, too. Yeah, see? I was going to put the bigger box under it. Box, box, bigger box. Oh. Uh, bigger box. No, that'll be way too high. I'm going to aim it down, then. Cover me. <laughs> Cover me. I'm going in. Oh... <laughs> uh, it unfortunately did not fix it enough. No, it did not. He says lower your... King of Rock says lower your chair. Yeah, pass me a hacksaw. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that we're going to be able to fix it. Is there anything... Oh, here, 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 here. Nope, nope. Stop, 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 stop. stop, stop. Pick it up again. Pick up can, to the little box. I can do this. No, you can't. I promise. I mean, you might be able to, but I... I promise. I have, I have, I have a little faith in you. Oh, so God, terrible. Well, that's because we picked it all up. Kimbo. Lower your chair. That just still cracks me up. All right. Let's see what it looks like in six minutes. Well, he's not quite as cut off. You can at least see the top of his head now. That's good. Yay. That's better. Yay. We'll run with it. Uh, 
All right. That's as good as it's going to get. I hope you all like where we're at now because it's almost 930 and we have done nothing. Nothing but nonsense and silliness like every week. All right. So, Andrew, lead us in. Lead us in. Oh, my Lord. <clears throat> He's not the leader here. Is that what we're doing already? <laughs> really? Are you sure he's not the leader here? I mean, I'm only here because he tells me to be here. It's the only thing he tells me to do. <laughs> okay. So, did you write yours down, Scott, or they are in your phone? They are typed. They are typed in your phone. Here, Monica, hand me yours. Okay. Hand me yours. Here. I know you're just trying to get While we're my doing answers. that, yeah, I'm, I do want your answers. Oh, right. Here, <laughs> hand me the pencil and I'm going to hand these to Scott. All right, write them down, Scott. Scribble them down. Oh, fine. And we're going to, we'll, we'll start randomly. Oh, there's Michael. Hi, Michael. Hi, hey, Michael. You made it just in time for all of the dumb stuff to have happened and all the good things to start happening. Welcome to the show. Now, are you going to like hold these up and aim them at the camera or are you going to read them? We're going to read them. Okay. Yeah, there's no possible So way. I don't have to write big or anything. No. I can't believe you are shuffling six cards. Really? And that's how you're doing it. That is like the world's worst shuffling ever. Not really. Okay. Looked like you were just doing the top one to the bottom and the top one to yeah, the I... bottom and the top one to the bottom. And Some like, of them are going in the middle. Okay. <laughs> and even at that at least we don't know which order they're going to go in then well maybe right not all in the same really that's off that's, I thought it was just one word Scott Scott wrote a paragraph did you write a paragraph I feel cheated I thought I had to write one word of course I wrote two words but that's that's beside the point. <laughs> I wrote four words, I think, all told. Actually, you know what? All no, of five. them have two words on them. Don't worry, one of these is like really short. Okay. But I, I just want him to read it as written. So, in so in the medical community, <clears throat> we also have written, you know. We have dispensed as written, so it's daw. Daw. Yeah, I've seen that one. My pharmacy stuff. Yep. I've done a little bit of a uh, little bit of pharmacy training. Michael, Michael showed up for the New Year's Eve show, and he realized he watched it for twenty minutes before he realized he wasn't watching. He was watching a not live show. Uh, I'm so, so sorry. Dear. Well, this is live. And uh, eh, there. All right. Also, also the one that I want read as written is just because I, I couldn't really think of the third thing in the moment. I got kind of hung up on the other two. All right. So we're thinking a pulp fantasy setting. We are. Apparently. So that's where we're going to start. That was that was largely because I had so much fun in Heather on. Well, you know, that is... That is good to know. Okay, can I get the pencil back? No. You can well, say I had to get it back. Well, I know, but so... I'm a nerd. I collect these things. If I'm going to run this, I need to know what we're doing. <laughs> All right, so... Pulp Fantasy... So you, you're thinking like sort of Eberron-esque, at least for the moment. Mm -hmm. All right. Also, at the time, I thought that we were doing these for like the, the long-running thing. Wait a minute. I'm trying to figure out why Michael wants to talk about potted meat in the chat. No, we're not doing potted <laughs> meat. So we're, we're looking for a pulp, pulp fantasy... King of Rocks says Sword and Planet. That's not a bad idea. No. Hmm. Okay. I will. Sword and Planet. Um. Here, 
Here, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna pass these to you, Scott. It's a terrible idea. Yeah, I'm gonna pass them to you. You pick one out at random, and we'll see what you come up with. Sorry, I'm, to I'm add, add an element. I am moderating. Monica says time travel. I did not say time travel. That's oh, that, Andrew's that handwriting? handwriting. Yeah. Okay, Andrew says time travel. Hmm. Okay, so Michael wants to know what we're what we're picking. So way no, back at the beginning of way back at the beginning of the show, twenty five minutes ago, we are writing down a bunch of different elements and and then randomly picking them to see what kind of crazy game we can come up with on the fly. And since you all were missing, we had to pick the the elements. Oh, you're to right. choose that's, from on our own. That's totally not your handwriting. That is totally <laughs> no. not my handwriting. Now that you see my handwriting. Because I also just pulled sailing ships. That's my handwriting. <laughs> and and where, where was this influence from? I don't know. Maybe because I was just killing Spartans and Athenians and some pirates and pirate ships. I like it. All right. So are we pulling two of them right now then? Oh, I just... All right. to flip I don't know. Again. He Scott's Scott's trying to get ahead of the curve because you know Scott's an overachiever. I'll okay. just I'll just like run with things if you let me. All right, I'm supposed to <laughs> pick Let's, one. Just pick one. That'll give us four pieces, and then we'll put those four pieces of the puzzle together. Oh man. Is is that the the one I did? Yeah, no, I'm not reading that one. No, make <laughs> make him read that one. No, I'm not making him read that one. But it's a good one. Yeah, but we're not using it. All right, what's it say? It says, campaign based out of a single city where oh. the majority of all the action happens. Oh, not that one? That's not the one I Well, we're not doing that one because we already have your other Eberron one. Ah, well. I, I put that one in because... I want to see what the other ones are. No, I put that one in because I love playing in Cauldron. Oh, cool. Yeah, that was good. I want to see which other... I... <laughs> oh, this is the one you want him to read. That's the one. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to pick... I feel left out. Well, I'll let you read it here in a minute. I'm trying to figure out which one's worth having. So instead of picking it randomly, we're going to select it by... Caveat. Uh, yeah. Well, I, he got to pick two. You're going to curate your... I'm so curate I did yours. mine randomly. Scott picked two, and you're going to curate yes. yours. So we've got Pulp Fantasy, Sword and Planet, Time Travel, and Sailing Ships. I got I to gotta text a friend of mine because Michael just combined the two that I read. Time travel sailing ships, and now I have to find a YouTube video that I think really, really appropriately combines that what? with the the pulp fantasy setting. Actually, well, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna I'm gonna go with one of my two. I was really torn, but I am gonna go with this one, Baby Dragon, to honor Griffin, uh, Gracie. And this is the one Scott wants you to read, but this is totally not the one we're putting in there. But you have to read it as written. I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> do it. Snyx! There's a Y in there. He did the Y. He just did it in the wrong place. He did spot. the wrong place. He did I, the wrong place. Snyx! Snyx! See, I'm doing it differently. He's got, a, he's got a different accent. Yeah. He, he's got I did Snyx. He's got a northern accent and you've got a southern accent. What? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What? Lots of places have a north. <laughs> All right, so we have Pulp Fantasy, Sword and Planet, Planet Time, time Travel, travel sailing, sailing Ships, ships and, and a Baby, baby dragon. dragon. What the heck are we going to do with that? I, we're going to do all sorts of great things. I think they actually wrote an ad adventure path on that. Or very close to. Yeah. That sounds like a really great game. It does sound like a great game. I hope we can pull this off. I mean, you know us. Right. All right, Kate. So we have... Here, all right. Back. Right. So... Fire lizards. That's a good idea. Grim and Ooh. wizards. <laughs> fire wizard. Uh, well, fire lizards. I, wizards duel was one of the options, and it was very hard for me to pass up on that one, but I really like the baby dragon. I like fire lizards. I like fire lizards. Well, baby dragons could be fire lizards. And I grim mean, and gritty be... wizards. Like, is everybody in the party then a wizard? Ooh. Everybody's a wizard in the style of the Maltese falcon. 
We could be do like Casablanca, Maltese Falcon, Pulp Noir. Mm. Mm. Cast a deadly spell. I still <laughs> like the whole like sword and planet thing now, like movie, spaceships sort of, instead of sailing ships. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, that's fine. I'm okay with spaceships rather than sailing ships. But we're in the middle of you know. Fire lizards. If you throw in, like, like, King spaceship. King of Rocks says spell jammer. It so, is a little spell jammery. Spaceships and, and power armors and dragons and such. That takes on kind of an Escaflone feel. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Or, you know, Parn. 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 I don't think that's what she meant, though. <laughs> it's okay. I was just kidding. Uh. Time travel. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. So we've got a little bit of... Uh, well, we definitely have to have a casino. That's not a casino. Because, you know, gambling doesn't take place in this place. Gambling. And this is the picture. I am shocked. I do with all these dice then. Dice, 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 dice. So, uh, we get a suggestion of mixing a little dark sun, yep. time traveling star sailing ships that somehow rely on fire lizards. Ooh. I don't know that I like the idea of using live creatures for, uh, for propulsion of a wet, of a ship. No, it was but a little too slavery. And it's also a lot like uh, the ships never on where they capture elementals. Yeah. Um. Oh, that's not bad. What Drag you? Dragon Wars sends say... you back in time to her home planet, a gladiator world with a major organized crime presence, in order to stop her baby self from doing something horrible that she regrets. Ooh. Oh, we like that King of Rock. <laughs> Um, <laughs> see, this is why we do this in front of a live audience. That's brilliant. We're not smart enough to come up with these things on our own. <laughs> oh, certainly we are. But that's that's definitely got some cool elements to it. So we've got a dragon overlord. Kind of like that. <laughs> uh tissues i need to be gross for a minute no you can't be gross i don't know where the tissues are your mic's dead but i don't know where the tissues are you've killed it i did <laughs> i think they're over here behind the curtains don't look behind the curtains no they're not there behind the curtains i don't know scott i'll tell you what kill my mic i'll go who bears we'll be back no, not, not, not we. One of us will be back. You'll be back. Um, We're staying. The magic only works if you say cover me. Cover me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm not sure where they went. I mean, I know there are more boxes over here, but... So. Hmm. So if we do a dragon overlord that sends you guys back in time star sailing ships and things what could you be doing Oh, neat. Thank you. You're welcome. It's the only one I... I don't know where the other box went. And I'm not certain it's the camera. What's wrong? <laughs> he did it again with the new camera. What? Ah. It's Scott! Poor camera. <laughs> well, that's good. You can blow your nose and nobody will see it. Don't get 
get allergies. It's terrible. So. All right. We shouldn't be. Uh, well, we might be on on Twitch, but I'm actually still seeing movement okay, here. Okay, well, I don't. Ta -da. Nobody saw the we're, trick. We're moving. That's a shame. It looked good on mine because my spot went away. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's taking allergy meds now because of yours. Good. So what kind of characters would you guys play for this? Hmm. Well, obviously a time traveler that the dragon would trust, so... So obviously somebody that they've pulled out of their own prison. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> You're clearly the criminal type. I am clearly the criminal type. No. Oh, did you forget to turn me back on? Oh my gosh, they missed all my funny stuff. No, they could probably hear it. I hope. Are you saying I have a loud voice? No, so I'm clearly, clearly I'm someone that the dragon trusts implicitly. Whether we're part of her retinue or not, it could, we could just be someone, we could just be people with reputations for getting things, getting done. things done. Yeah, this is terrible. All mm -hmm. I can see is Scott's camera. <laughs> He's making faces at me right now, I can tell. <laughs> it's like having multiple younger brothers. It is. It is. So anyway, so well, yeah. So we could be people who are known for getting things done. So yes, it's quite possible that we were very good thieves of some kind. Oh yeah, or the dragon has leverage on us. Yeah. yeah. Good one, Michael. Oh, we could go with like the like the whole usual suspects route. Oh yeah. Yeah. Everybody's been everybody's been caught with their hand in the cookie jar. Oh, maybe we have, no. Maybe our families have some implications in the history, too. I mean, dragons are long-lived. Right. Maybe she trusted our family members in the distant past, and she knows our lineages, and that's why she's sending us back. I have a debt marker on your great, 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 Ex great, great. Yeah. I'm or something calling like, it in. Or something like that, yes. Could be good. Could be good. I just realized I really don't have to take notes. I will have all of this recorded. <laughs> you hope? Are you recording? I am. Excellent. And even if I weren't, we are streaming, which means it will be recorded on Twitch. On Twitch. So, uh, so I'm thinking. Hmm. I mean, do we want to? Do we want to be these smarter than average bears kind of characters? Do we want someone want to play heavy physical? Are we playing this in Cypher system? Yeah. Okay. Um, huh. Let's see. The last time we made something up out of our rear ends, it was really great. We played it for over a year and we still are playing it now. Mm -hmm. Um <laughs> So I need to think of something really good. Oh, oh no, I dropped off. And then here's a King of Rock poses a, a good question. I, I'm or not a, there. a good point. You have to avoid causing or being caught by paradoxes that might erase. That's when you were getting. Oh, it's when I was getting. Oh wow. So do we? This is so do we, we go with the? Far back. With the, uh, you can create paradoxes that erase you, or do we go with the whole? Your timeline has already happened. Therefore, anything you do differently basically splits an alternate timeline. Well, if we do that, then why would the dragon send you back? Doesn't know that that's what's going to happen. So in one, in one, re in the one we came from, she has these regrets. In the other one, she won't have the regrets potentially. Okay, so Michael says uh, she's at the the dragon has leverage on over them. She's actually out to do you in because of your ancestry. Uh, King of Rocks says and. Uh, you have to avoid causing or being caught her bat. in uh, a caught up in name. paradoxes that might erase you. Uh, oh, caster bat is that Jim? That might be Jim. But 
but anyway, uh, so we'll see in about six minutes when our video catches up to <laughs> where we are, what we're seeing in the chat. Is that who that is? Oh, it is yes, Jim. it is Jim. The name is no longer. Hi, Jim. Hi, Jim. Hi, <laughs> Jim. Um, so, do we want to make up our characters now? I mean, do we want to bust out books or what? Well, we don't have to bust out books, but okay. we can we can rough sketch. I do better when I bust out books because then I see things that. Yeah, like... but the books are handy. Oh, books Dang. are handy. We have a whole basement full of books, and the books we need aren't here. Oh, my God. Okay, well, we have the internet. But, okay, so, I don't know. So, we're going to be playing Cypher, so we'll be playing... Um, Jim, what if you spelled it phonetically? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine why Castard Bat with a B and a C is not permitted on uh, Twitch. All right, so what are what are our class options? I know it's not glaive and it's warrior, warrior, speaker, uh, explorer, and something. Adept. Adept. So that's like the magic user. Right. Hmm. What do you think you want to play, Scott? Hmm. I'm always fond of of magic users. Um. But something like this might be really good for a speaker class. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking. I was going to let... So why is Scott missing? Oh, because Scott was taking care of business. Yeah. Lord business. Lord business. Your nose. You were taking care of your nose. Come on. So what if we do... Uh... But Wait, I'm thinking the, like an explorer would be good. What warrior and what? Explorer, uh, explorer and adept. Mm-hmm. I was kind of thinking Explorer. I like the Explorer class a lot, but I was willing to give it up to anybody who would want to play it. Excuse me. At the moment, it looks like it's two of you. Oh, that's right. It would just be the two of us. I forgot. Hey, Jim, what are you doing on the occasional Friday night? You want to come play in this game we just made up? It sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, man, it will just be the two of us. Well, if you're going to be a speaker... Then Explorer at least gives me a little bit of fighting abilities. But I'm thinking if you're going to, if that's what you're thinking, maybe it would be better to place a speaker and something else because speakers could kind of dovetail into, or uh, Explorer because I could dovetail into speaker or adapt. But speaker, as much as I hate to say it, it's not the strongest of the classes for what we're thinking, especially if it's just the two of us. I keep forgetting it's just the two of us. I think that's a song, but I'm not going to sing it. I'd be inclined to allow Jackson, if you wanted to sneak a Jack in. Yeah, but Jackson explorers are very similar. I mean, the, they are similar, the, but there are some subtle differences, which you can kind of do by flavoring the the explorer. Yeah. So I mean, it's. Hmm. Sorry, I'm very tired. It's been a long week. I'm getting up very early. Okay. So, sending you back in time. <gasps> Maybe we should just play Badger and uh, Ray and just call it quits. <laughs> I get the impression that that's a no. <laughs> Defeats the whole point of trying to do something off the wall zany. I mean, yeah. and well, what's, well, they what's were off, off the wall, wall and zany than Badger? than Badger and Ray. I mean, really? <laughs> Okay, no, we won't do that. All right. Ah, uh, come on, she'll be right. No. <laughs> GM says no. <laughs> no fun. Actually, let's see. So are we gonna are we gonna be in like a high magic? Sounds like it. Okay. Sounds like we're looking at high magic. Okay. Uh, okay. some gladiator combat, and pirate ships in the sky. Yeah. I don't know. Glad I don't know. I just gonna say pirates. I'm gonna be cloud kicker. Two weapon fighting it is <laughs> with panache. So you're gonna go the sky pirate route then? I very well may. I'm gonna have to fight in the gladiatorial. Well, they're to gladiatorial pits. There's a very good chance you're gonna end up in them. Yes, I'm gonna be able to. I need to be able to fight. I think I may take the uh, fights with panache. Okay. Was a, that seemed like that might have been a good one. I have to look at it. 
Maybe. Maybe. Maybe something was stolen from her, and you'll go get it and bring it forward. Oh, maybe that's what we'll do. So we're and then thieves. it doesn't, and so you're thieves. And so then it doesn't matter what kind of paradoxes you incur or don't incur. Because then you're bringing the thing to the future. So obviously we're changing the timelines. Right. But even if you change the past timeline, you just take it away and, and, and so. Or maybe she lost it and she doesn't know if it was stolen or whatever. She needs to know what happened to it. She's been looking for it all this time and now she needs it. Could be. All right. So what do you think? And then Scott. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to be an explorer there, who fights with Panache. There, there is that that time travel descriptor in there. <laughs> or focus. Yeah, yeah the but focus. I don't think we're, but I don't know that we're going to need that one. I mean, no, I think the not. whole I think the whole point is is the dragon's going to be able to figure this out. I mean, she yeah. has to be able to do something. Um. I mean, in this case, if we're just gonna, if we're basically gonna play, but her name has to be Grayson. If we're gonna basically play thieves that are being sent back in time. It'd be a good way to play test the one I want to do for the, for the big campaign. No, because if you do that, and then spoilers. Yeah, because okay. I, because I was thinking I'd like to do that, but I can't do that because that wouldn't be right. Okay. Because I don't want to play the same. I don't want to play the same character. Besides, you don't want to. You don't want to get. You don't want to get bored with it. That's yeah. fair. Um. Hmm. See, if we had the books, we could look through stuff, but Andrew says that that's just nonsense. I didn't say that that was nonsense. Actually, you entertain no, the crowd. Uh, no. Nope, or not. Nope, you know what? There's Someone's got uh, some of them online. Someone's got a PDF they created online. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, and uh, Scott has the player's handbook. It's only a partial because it's the original human era. Focus list. Okay. All right. But it might be enough to give me an idea. Here's the foci list. Abides in stone. Now, this is also not complete. I do know that for certain. But abides in stone, adapts to any environment, awakens dreams. Ooh, that sounds cool. Battles robots and automatons. That's good, too. Bears a halo of fire, blazes with radiance. You can have the ability to create or sculpt light and bend it to your bend it away from you or gather it to use as a weapon. That's kind of cool. Builds robots, calculates the incalculable, carries a quiver, casts spells. Next page. Turn the page. Channels divine blessings, channels sinfire. Oh, that must be some from somebody else's um uh commands mental powers. Oh maybe the sinfire. And then maybe that's from the newer ones. Anyway, it's been a long. Commands mental powers, conducts weird science, consorts with the dead, controls beasts, controls gravity, crafts illusions, crafts unique objects, defends the weak. Next page. Uh, come on, next page. We've, we've lost Andrew, and I've lost the internet. This is great. Ta-da! I know. Um, this is not good. And everything's all frozen up. Well, okay, so that's all I get. I only have three pages. It won't load any further. Burp, burp, burp. Let's see what we can find. Here's one on Reddit. Let's see if I can get Reddit to load and run longer. Oh, here comes Andrew with books. Nope, apparently the internets are not working for me. So the internet's fried out. Oh, of course it is. Just us. All right, hand me a book. There it is. Oh, you only brought a book. I couldn't find the second one. It's, I know where it is roughly, but I just didn't have time to go okay. digging around for it. Speaks for the land, you feed the Lorax. Mm. Uh, moves like a cat, moves like the wind. Now I'm just 
Prepares fights with panache. Crafts weak objects. Defends the weak. Okay, defends the weak. That's where we were at. Doesn't do much. That sounds like you, Scott. Employs magnetism. Entertains. Exists in two places at once. It has a lot of potential. Actually, doesn't do much could be really funny. It could be really funny. I'm calling in this marker I've held over your family for 17 generations. Ugh, it sounds so much like work. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm thinking we need to also do a little bit of world hopping since we're talking sword and planet. Uh, exists partially out of phase, explores dark places. You have to let me finish reading this. Explores deep waters. Oh, fights dirty. Maybe I'll do fights dirty instead of fights with banana. Okay. That's definitely pirate gladiator stuff. Yeah, it is. For sure. Are you going to do not, do not do much there, Scott, or do you want to keep moving? Um... Are you thinking that's your? Are you thinking that's your folk guy? That may be it. That just may be without it. knowing anything else about it. <laughs> Grows to towering heights. Hunts non-humans. Howls at the moon. I've skipped over some of them. Hunts out. Hunts with great skill. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. Infiltrates what? what? Entertains for a gladiator. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so King of Rock says, uh, think a Jovian system. Uh, a, so a city hovering above a gas giant. So a, a gas giant. Okay, Michael, we know you're exciting. Are you so, not entertained? <laughs> gas giant with habitable moons. Hey, I, ooh, maybe that's what it is. Maybe instead of being like a whole system, maybe it's like, it's one planet, but nobody lives on the planet. So they live like on Bespin. all the moons. Oh, so it's like, yeah. So it's like Bespin. No, you live but on you all know, the moons. But yeah. But, but yeah. It's like, yeah. So yeah. So, they, so they're like mine and the gas giant. And uh, Justin, not so much a game tonight as much as game brainstorming and, and a little bit of world building. We're creating something weird. You know, like we always do. Idolized by millions. <laughs> oh, man. That also would be good for a gladiator. That would be good yeah, so, for a gladiator. So this will be the game for next week. That's a champion. So, so I don't get yelled at for homework. There's homework what? There's for next homework? week. Oh, man, I'm I not drinking it. don't enough. like it. You have to you make know. a character. It sounds too much like work, Andrew. <laughs> I think you've got it down, Scott. I'm really impressed. That's nice. Let me go find you. Let me go find you a descriptor to go along with that. I'm thinking nonchalant. Is that one? No. No. Dang it. Appealing, brash, calm, calming, or charming, clever, clumsy, craven, creative, cruel, dishonorable, doom, driven, empathetic, exile, oh, foolish, uh, fast, graceful, guarded, hardy, hideous. Honorable, impulsive, inquisitive, intelligent, jovial, kind, learned, lucky, mad, mechanical, mysterious. Mystical. Lucky's good. Lucky's no, a good one. I was going to take lucky. Oh. Lucky's mine. Lucky's yours. I need lucky. Um, strong-willed, tongue-tied, bench. There. Hey, where's clumsy? Oh, clumsy is in here. You could be clumsy. You could be the clumsy person who does nothing. <laughs> that would be fun. Resilient, rugged, sharp-eyed. Skeptical. Skeptical who does who doesn't do much. How do we know this dragon really has a marker on our families? We really only have her word for it. I'm Are you gonna this. argue with the dragon? <laughs> Be my guest. I feel like we've I feel like we've pretty much honed in on everything your character is. Are you gonna be a are you gonna be a warrior, explorer, adapter, speaker? I think Scott's got a character. Write that down. What is it? He's um. I don't. What what what? Are, what's your? What's, what's the your, descriptor? Did you did you guys settle uh, on? Did skeptical, I miss something? Skeptical, skeptical, something who does who doesn't do any or doesn't do much. I think it's what it is. Doesn't do much. Uh, apparently, uh, Michael's trying to throw money at us. I know. <laughs> Patreon.com. Michael's already there. Marlow My, House. I know. I'm telling everybody else. Oh, okay. But yeah, this will definitely be something we can post some of this stuff up on the Patreon too. 
Well, Justin, you are in luck. We are going to play Cypher next week, and you're going to get to learn how to play that again. But we also have other videos up. Uh, we posted a primer not too long ago on how to play Cypher System. So it's about two hours, well, it's an hour long, and then we've played a game for about two and a half hours. And although Castered Bat will tell you that that is too long to watch, we highly recommend watching the video if you want to kind of get ahead of the game and figure out what the rules are a little bit. Although any of our games are pretty straightforward, you can probably yes. pick up a lot of it. Um, Beneath Two Moons was pretty good, or yeah, Two Moons Above. Oh, yeah, yeah forget, mine was... Whatever it was called. Uh, and then you did uh, uh, Longest, Longest Night. Night. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or, and Michael said, or I just asked a lot of questions and they answered them. We also do that. We try to. We try to cater to our audience because, well, you guys are here. We love this game, but we know not everybody's playing it yet. Not yet. All right, so Scott is skeptical... Skeptical warrior Something. who doesn't do are much. You be a warrior, Scott? Or you want to be like a skeptical speaker? Because I know you were talking speaker before too. Yeah. You talk your way out of things. You don't actually do much. Yeah, that's that sounds like a like a like a thing. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah, it doesn't do much. Okay, so you're going to be a speaker. Skeptical speaker who doesn't do much. Okay, and I'm going to be a lucky explorer who. Fights dirty. Either that or I want to work back alleys. I like works back alleys too. I have to go look at the two differences. Okay. Fights dirty is probably what I'm going to go with though because I can't imagine Mr. I don't do much actually fights well either as a speaker. I can't believe it's going to fall to me to be the fighter. That's why I'm lucky. Mm. Justin, works we hope we're entertaining. That's that is the goal. We're working on it. We're working on making it better. If you guys have any suggestions, anything you'd like to see that is legal or any ideas, by all means, drop us a note uh, either in chat or on our videos as they go up on YouTube. Uh, certainly, we also do have our Patreon that we check probably not as often as we should. I check it all the time. Andrew checks it all the time, and that would be the best way to get in touch with him so that I don't see it. Works back alleys. Hmm. I am trained. If I do that, I'd be trained in stealth pickpocketing and lock picking. Let's see what my min maxing abilities for. Let's see if I can drop a link in here. Fights dirty. Four. Because my, my friend came through with the. When we were talking about like the all the different categories, and, and we were just like, oh, oh, the maybe the, like the time traveling mm -hmm. uh, sailing ship. He came through. What? With the, the video that he sent me ages and ages ago. There's a video? It's so cool. This video kind of made me want to do um, music videos for a while. Which never went anywhere, so... Right. <laughs> Here we are. Hmm. I am thinking I may go with... Um... I'll have to look that up after the stream. Works back alley. Does it have music or stuff attached to it? Mm -hmm. There's a there's a, a proper video for it. Mm -hmm. And then this is something that like a, a film student put together. Ah. And it, it looks fantastic. Oh, you know what else? Hmm. If we go sword and planet, we do a little bit of like, you know, sky pirates and things. Hmm. Well, think faster because I'm thinking that works back alleys isn't going to work because it requires me then to build like a, a network of contacts contacts and that won't be appropriate. I don't know. Why not? Well, I mean, I could. Maybe you're part of a guild. We've got, you know, the possibility of all sorts of contacts. All right. Oh, well, except that we're doing time travel. That's why I'm thinking maybe not. Yeah. That does make it tricky. Yeah. I am... <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, nice. Nice. I brought the fez. You brought, brought the fez. 
Well, Freddie looked very put out with me too. That you took his fez? Yeah, like he hates it and won't wear it. But he looked very mad at me. But that it's I was his it. fez. Because she's like, "What other cat are you gonna put that on?" Guy, that's my hat. Oh. Freddie has a list. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I am a lucky adventurer who looks for trouble. Explorer who looks for trouble. You're a lucky explorer who looks for trouble. Yes, because uh, first tier, tier is brawler. Uh, second one is protector. Third one is lethal battler. Fourth one is knockout. Fifth one is epic fighter. And sixth is juggernaut. You know I'm only talking myself out of situations. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. But it also gives me... Um, But it also gives me, um, I have a feeling that that's just going to be the kind of character I'm going to end up playing, though. <laughs> so You're... Monica's playing Indiana Jones. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> Good eye, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> I was say, that's not, that, that's not inaccurate. That is, that is, uh. Possibly yep. spot on. All right. Did you write all that? Oh, it's yeah. on the it's on the internets already. It is on the internets it's already. The internets. So, a little Indiana Jones, a little Stargate, a little spaceships, time travel, and, and Tyrion dragon. Lannister. <laughs> <laughs> you drinking? You know things. I, drink and I know things. Oh wait, I'm drinking, <laughs> and I know things. Wait. That sounds about right. So. Well, with that in mind. Yes. So we have our characters made. Ta-da. We have characters. Well, almost. We have characters and we have something of a setting. Mm-hmm. Um, so we know that the dragon's going to want something. The dragon has something over you. What do you think he has over you? Or she. Hmm. Let's go with she. What does she have over you? Hmm. Well, let me rethink all this. What do you <laughs> think? What do you, I don't know. What do you think, Scott? Uh, do we know each other from before this? Probably. It's possible. Maybe she's got something over the pair of you. It's possible. Yeah. You know, you're Indiana Jones. He's Sala. <laughs> Well, did you? That I guess that pretty much boils everything down. It's oh, a you, pretty solid joke. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. So maybe we pilfered something that we shouldn't have, and in order to save ourselves, we gave it up, and like you know, an ark or something, the covenant, and uh. <laughs> um, you jettisoned an artifact. Not drink Guinness. I'm a terrible Irish kid. You are a terrible Irish kid. I just, I can't stand the smell of beer. I just don't want to hear anymore. Or the taste. Meh. He's a hard liquor guy. It's true. So Jim has offered that we've been mind wiped by the dragon and they, that will restore our real selves. I think that was a TV show, wasn't it? Scott McFez. <laughs> it sounds like that's that does sound a little bit like uh, uh, Feel free to drink mine Dollhouse. Time. I'm okay with this. Well, that's okay. Actually, this is not, this up. is actually not Guinness. This is Coca Vesa. But it is. It's got a. But it looks like Guinness. Yeah, and it is definitely it's super dark. It is super dark. It's so yummy. All right, so what does this dragon have over us? Well, I mean, do we? So I'm thinking maybe we have a. Uh, I mean, if, um, because if we go with like the if we go with like the uh, the usual suspects route, um, and you got your hand caught in the till, what could you have gotten your hand caught in the till with? What might you have taken? I mean, it's. The other thing is, if this is a dragon overlord, since they are so incredibly long lived, I don't see it. An I mean, issue it doesn't with, even. With the, the. I mean, we can go with like it was your parents. The marker. 
Yeah. yeah I, mean, I mean, it could I mean, be. We maybe but, we don't even specifically know, and that's something we find out. GM. Okay. I mean, you can put that back on me. I mean, I can do that. Home. We can't all not have homework. Because uh, I'm not going to have homework. <laughs> Justin wants to know what kind of dragon it is. It's a fire lizard. We just made it up. Um, named Grayson. It's a female dragon it's overlord. A, it's a female dragon overlord. And it could be chromatic. We could go with we could go with the uh, the the fantasy no, stereotype. It has to be rose gold. Why rose gold? Because that's the in color this year. Don't you follow? Don't you follow the the Pantone? Actually, uh, I believe uh, peach is the in color this year. Uh, no coral. No. You sure? Yes. I mean, Pantone says living coral is the in color this year. I don't care. I'm not a big fan of living coral myself. I think rose gold makes. I think a really that's pretty, terrible. I think rose gold makes a. Much I think that's a terrible way to do a dragon. Red. I think rose gold makes a much more interesting color for a dragon. Because it's sort of red and sort of warm and sort of gold. So she might be evil and she might be good and we don't know. But she's rose gold, so it's not clear. Because chromatics well, and it's, metallics aren't actually I was gonna part say, of this. Right. I mean, it's not like we have to go that route. I mean, we don't have to color code our dragons for ease of convenience. This one's good. We don't kill it. That one's red. We can kill it. says a coral dragon but it's spelled like quite like, like in the a style choir. of choir which means it has to be a hydra Ooh, there it's a singing go. dragon <laughs> a singing dragon so anyway oh with your messed up vocal cords you can hit the low notes <laughs> i love that movie <laughs> running <laughs> a bard hydra a bard hydra oh it sings it sings in harmonics I think okay we're kind of far afield here <laughs> we'll see what i come up with i hope it's rose gold <laughs> i can almost guarantee it will not be rose gold andrew's no fun I am terrible. <laughs> and normally, normally I would be like, oh yeah, let's play yes and, but no. no you not told on me that. we were going to play yes and, and you lied to me. I didn't lie. You did lie. I changed my mind. <laughs> you do that to me all the time. I'm the only one who can do that. Yes, and this time we're going to do it my way too. <laughs> what? Oh, he pardon said pardon. Me. Gotcha. It burps, but I kept it in, but it still was kind of loud. <laughs> oh no. Oh, Michael, I love your daughter so much. He says, fun fact, his middle daughter can belch in harmony with herself. I really need to meet Michael's daughters. They seem like such a see, winning I need to see that on group. America's Got Talent. <laughs> Michael's daughters are amazing. I, I just want to see Simon make that face right there. <laughs> <laughs> would be pretty much that face yep all right so, all right so are we gonna have our own ship i think so okay good that'll be good that'll make time travel easier and traveling between the moons and the, yeah you'll the definitely have to be able to travel stations. around so uh and uh, so and we're gonna be first level uh let's be interesting let's do a second um do we have a six sider? Scott has dice right there in front of him that he got for All right. Christmas. Yeah, my, my magic roll a six. Dice. Roll yeah. a six sider. <gasps> Ooh, roll high, Scott. Pretend you're Chris. <laughs> Those are Chris's gift dice. Uh huh. Ready? Yes. Yep, we're ready. This is the first time they've ever been rolled. Okay. We've been down to the package. Way to build the four. Woo! Tier four. Woo! Neat. Man, I don't think I've ever been tier four so easily in my life it didn't involve me spending half my xp just re-rolling ones 
So, actually, let's do it. Instead of doing tier four, we'll do... Oh, we're going to be pretty... Um, pretty, pretty what so, here? do like what? Tier three. With 16, 16 experience points? 16. No, that's the only... That's only level 200. That's tier, that's tier, that's two. tier two. Sorry. So, we um, would have to be... Um, 32. Times four. No, that's tier three... Well, I, I know. 48 Sorry. would be tier 4. Yeah. So let's do 48 XP. Is that right? So no, that's four. only 12. No, that's only 12. 16 times 4 is 64. 64 is it 64 points. experience points? Yes. So do it that way. Math is not easy. It is not, but a good day. No. Late not, a, not a good day for math. No. See, Scott, we put math on the card. And I haven't, and it got I haven't actually. everything. Right? I know, right? Rude. I know. Rude. Go back draw my pictures. So, do your X, do 64 XP. Okay. And that way you can choose how you spend your XP. It doesn't have to be all on. Um. Well, I mean, and that way you can also, like, if you wanted to be tier three and hang on to some points. Oh, I see what you're saying. What do you think? Only four XP hanging out, though? Max? Yeah, something like overhang. that. Okay. All right. Because then what we could do is hold on to that for, like, an extra skill or something like that. Mm-hmm. All right. And I will even let you go so, well, no. That won't work. So we'll we'll go with that. Okay. So in that case, we, I think we've got a lot of a lot of homework to do. Oh man. It is ten twenty. We've been on for an hour and twenty minutes. We actually started on time. Who knew? Who knew? Other than other than the camera other than the camera freezing up about midway through and fixing that, our technology was uh on point tonight didn't require a whole lot of backfilling and fixing things so yay improvements yay <laughs> um well then anything that, else uh no that said we'll play again next week at nine o'clock and i'm monica marlowe and i'm andrew marlowe i guess i'm scott now this was marlowe house presents have a good night have a good night